Hello animators, uh, I just wanted to do a video of uh, how to set up your animation station and also how to download the app that you'll need that we'll be using for our animation club. Um, so there's lots of different ways to do this, I'm just going to show you what I've managed to put together uh, but you can use whatever you can find at home um, and it really doesn't matter, you don't even really need to do a setup at all if you don't want to um, but we'll go through that. So this is what I've come up with at home. Um, it's just on my normal dining room table, which is a mess, as you can see. But all I've done is I found an empty cereal packet in the recycling, uh, which I'm using for my stand, my back stand for my backdrop. Uh, but you could you could even just use a, a full cereal packet. It doesn't matter because all I've all I've done all I've done is uh, just blue tacked a, an A3 piece of paper and blue tacked it onto the table as well so it stays in place. Um, I've got these lovely big sugar paper pieces but if you don't have anything that's coloured then you can just use a white piece of paper. Um, you could even just use two pieces of A4, one stuck to your background and one on the floor, on the ground if you want to, if you don't have any larger pieces, see what you can find at home. Uh, and then I've got a tablet, so that's useful because you can just stand it up like this. Um, if you don't, if you're using a phone or you don't have a stand, you can make your own little tripod. This is just a, a biodegradable plant pot that I've turned over and I've cut a slit in so that my devices can just sit inside the slit and you can point it. And if you don't have one of these, you can use a paper cup if you've got that. Um, or I'm going to also add a link to a video in our event description about how to make it out of um, a leftover little loyalty card, like the cardboard loyalty cards you get when your parents or grown up go sh uh, goes to shops quite often but I'll link that and you'll see what I mean. Now, for my setup, I have gone through all my toy boxes and I found things that I thought would be good to animate. So, this one would be really good. I just have this on a shelf usually, this little character. He can actually bend and move, so I think he'll be really good for an animation. He is quite big though. What we usually use, and what you can use if you've got some Lego, is Lego. So, Lego is really good for animating, obviously, because all the little people can move slightly. So that's really fun if you do have Lego. If you don't, just find any toys that you can. They're really, it's really good if you can find toys that have moving parts, like this one. But you can actually animate anything you like got some bricks here because you can animate the bricks moving about by themselves which is fun and you can even just use normal household objects like I did a I did a animation my first animation I made with the app was a cup of tea moving around by itself so you can do that you can just find bits and pieces in your kitchen they can be any objects you like uh, and just see what you can find. Right, once you've got your animation station all set up and you've chosen the characters that you're going to animate, uh, you need to get the app, the animation app onto your device. So it needs to be a device that has a camera that can take pictures. Um, and once you've got your device turned on, you need to find the app store. So you can get a grown up to help you with this. And you're looking for an app called I Can Animate by Kudlian Software. So, it used to be Animate It by Ardman, the production company who makes Sean the Sheep and Wallace and Gromit. But they've actually changed now and they don't want the app anymore. So, it's called oh, I Can Animate. Ah, it's popped up for me. So it looks like this. I can animate by Kudlian Software Limited. 
that's the one we want. So we'll just install that onto our device. And that one will hopefully download onto your device. Okay, so once it's downloaded, you can open the app. I've moved my tablet onto uh, my tripod that I made. Uh, and then I've already opened this, so I've already got an animation set up, but you can just press this pink button here and it will add a new one. And then you've got the buttons to use, which are the little camera icon takes a new frame. So that takes a picture and then all the pictures get added together to make your animation. So we can do that. And you should be able to see my animation station up here. Yeah. And then you can readjust your camera, decide where you need it. I think my camera's a little bit close to my animation station, but that's okay because this is just an example. And you can play around a lot with where you want everything to be. So, you press the little icon, the little camera, to take your first frame, and you'll see it appears down here. All your frames will appear so that you can delete ones that you don't like and uh, adjust them as you need to. And then it's just a case of deciding. There, you want to go with your animation. So what you can do is decide your storyline beforehand. You can even draw a storyboard if you want to. Uh, you can design a backdrop, you can colour in your background. Uh, there's lots to do. So uh, you come up with some story ideas for today uh, and I'll see you in our session of Animation Club. Have fun! <laughs>